Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. This channel is recommended for adult fans of LEGO and teen fans of LEGO. If you are younger than the age of 13, you're welcome to watch, but first, get your parents' permission. So I'm not necessarily a LEGO purist. Um, that is to say that I collect not only LEGO, but Mega Constructs, and I will occasionally pick up a random third-party brand uh, just to mess around and see what they're like. Um, one of my more popular videos, frankly, is the uh, third-party brand that made the Ice Age set, and I'll have that linked in the description and on the end screen. Um, so I like to just take a look and see what some of the other companies are doing. Uh, I don't generally mix bricks. I keep my Lego with the Lego and the Mega with the Mega. But uh, I was at uh, Dollar Tree the other day, and uh, this might be a game changer. They had base plates for $1. Thirty-two by thirty-two base plates. Make it blocks. It's uh, their compatibility thing. This is kind of funny. Age six plus because if you're younger than six, you might accidentally swallow this giant thing. Anyway, um, since you don't see these generally anyway, at least you wouldn't in what I would do with it. Um, I would build a, a mock uh, modular type building or cover it in landscape and that sort of thing. So um, I don't care that uh, the Lego logo isn't on it. And um, as long as the clutch power is okay, these are $1 versus $8 for the Lego branded one. And uh, when it comes time for me to actually make a city, I may go ahead and get a few of these uh, to be the base for a park and that sort of thing. They had them in green, they had them in gray, they had them in dark brown, and uh, I, that's all I remember seeing, but they may be available in other colors as well. These were at Dollar Tree. I'm not sure about other type dollar stores, 99 cents only, or Dollar General, or any of those kinds of places, but if you have a Dollar Tree near you, you might check it out, because for a buck, even if it sucks, it's not bad. For those people that cut their base plates, it always hurts my heart a little bit to see them cutting genuine Lego, but it wouldn't hurt me at all to have these guys be cut to a custom size, so that's another possibility. Anyway, um, for those of you who are Lego purists, this is probably sacrilege, but I just wanted to bring it up for those of you who might be interested. So Dollar Tree, one dollar, 32 by 32 base plates. I wouldn't mix uh, their bricks or figures or anything like that, certainly, because they're all junk, but I want to check the clutch power on this base plate, and if, as long as it's pretty good, I think it's worthwhile. Alright, so I put some of these uh, figures and stuff from the Star Wars Advent Calendar, and they are holding pretty good. So I think this could be a game changer for some folks. Actually, the, the clutch power on this is really pretty good. Look at that, it's sticking really well. So, yeah, I may, uh, I may invest in a few more of these base plates. So, again, Dollar Tree for $1, 32 by 32 base plate in various colors. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, whether or not this is something that you might be interested in, or if I'm all wet. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you would use these.